let's go back for a second. Philosophically speaking, fundamentally, why is it okay that I accept certain risks? Why is it that I would be willing to take a medication when it's a known uh, reality that it might cause an adverse drug event or an adverse drug reaction, a side effect? Why would I ever accept that risk? I think as we're starting off here, I just want to uh, make clear that um, as we're talking about being okay and accepting certain side effects, just there, there are certain populations, and this is not all inclusive, that should be a little more cautious, a little more vigilant. Um, if you have a history of any anaphylactic reactions to anything, not just meds, be a little more vigilant when you're starting on a new med. If you're pregnant or the key is might become pregnant, a little more vigilant. If you're breastfeeding, um, general intolerance of medications. And again, I, I always want to, we're always going to kind of preach balance here, but um, if you have a general intolerance, in, in, intolerance to medications or, or dose changes, you've had mild, obviously, um, you know, past severe, um, any ADRs related to medications, be a little more vigilant. If you're on multiple meds, if you have multiple conditions, if you're elderly and disabled in any way, uh, mentally or physically, those are all populations that should be a little more cautious when starting new meds, a little more aware, not hyper vigilant. A lot of things, a lot of things occur that have nothing to do with, right. with the new variable of the med that's been introduced. So it still requires care, but I just thought maybe to frame this and kind of just to kind of get that out of the way. Okay. All right. So is it, is it the leftover pizza I ate or the new medication? Exactly. Got it. Yeah. I right. just started this yesterday and now all of this has happened. Well, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> but what is the, I mean, from a philosophical standpoint, why, why don't we just have drugs that don't have side effects? Why don't we just get rid of those? In general, to any intervention like this, there's still a non-zero risk. And so, you know, when a drug goes into development, you know, when they're, when it's being tested in, in initial clinical trials, they're not trying to find the drug or the combination or the dose that ended up with zero side effects, zero issues, was, did everything they wanted it to do and didn't cause any little bit of you know, harm or controversy. It's just that they, they get, try to get to the point where those benefits outweigh some of those risks. And so again, at the very fundamental level, whether that's a supplement that's being studied, whether that's a drug that's being studied, very rare do you have something that's 10,000 points in this category and zero in this category of any negatives. The other key is whenever you're, like Joey said, when you're determining if a drug or a supplement is right for you, you're not necessarily weighing the same risks and benefits that the study was trying to, to, to seek. You're weighing your own personal characteristics. You're, weigh, you're trying to weigh all of these different things that you know, you as the individual that, is, that a large study, when you see a huge cohort of 10,000 people, maybe didn't account for the certain characteristics, your certain makeup. And okay. so it's about, you know, it's not that you should ignore those risks, be very cognizant of them, but just know that there, there are going to be risks associated. And again, that's vitamin C, that's vitamin D, that's simvastatin, that's that's joint essentials, that's, any, that's anything. There's, yeah. a, there's a risk, there's certainly a risk benefit analysis that has to occur. Makes sense. Yeah. And, and related to the side effects themselves, for example, a new drug like Jardians that helps with blood sugar, we know it works well. Um, we also know it has some serious, what we would call, I don't know if this is the right term, moderate side effects, UTIs, mm -hmm. um, vaginal yeast infections, things like that. So you say, well, look at this drug. There's these old drugs that work. Why, why Jardians? It's this expensive drug. It causes all these things. Well, it doesn't cause hypoglycemia. So when, when you're looking at, at again, yeah. an old drug like a glipizide that also works, but that can hospitalize people, especially as you start getting into those higher risk categories. Yeah. And it's, it is a big deal to get a UTI and a yeast infection, but when you're, when you're, when the FDA is trying to approve this drug or your doctor's trying to, to decide what's best for you, this one's not going to cause hypoglycemia. So even within the side effect realm, the balance is, is always important to look at, not even just cure quote unquote or management of a disease versus side effect risk. So it's about finding uh, the the balance, finding that trade off where it it's worth the risk uh, that, that you're going to have some sort of issue. Okay. <laughs>